Today's video is about troubleshooting searching. So I've logged into my repository. It's a it's a it's a fresh install of a repository with the with the test data installed, and I've created three items, um, and two of them have kind of different problems with search, but they've all got the titles triangles. They've all the word triangles in their title. So when you see problems with searching, you will be aware that there are items in your repository that perhaps are not appearing in searches. So let's do a search. So the title contains the word triangles. So let's do a search on triangles and see how many results we get. We only get one result. So there are two items that are not uh, um, not appearing in the repository, uh, not appearing in the search, but they do exist in the repository. Um, they are live. The first thing we do as a repository administrator is check the search indexer. We can see here that start indexer is, is lit up, so it means the indexer isn't running, but the status is our, is our first stop. And we can see that the indexer needs to start and the task queue, which is what the indexer kind of steps through, has four tasks. And we can see that one of these is an index on ePrint 103. Um, and I, I know that ePrint 103 is one of these items, if you, if you understand the ID of the ePrint. Uh, if you can find that. Um, if we go back to Manage Deposits, um, we can see um, the ePrint ID. Pop this up. Where's the ID? Item ID. So item 103 is one of the ones that isn't being found and, uh, and it's still waiting to be indexed. So let's start the indexer. We'll do it from the status page. We see there are four tasks here, and we'll go back to status. We can see, oh, there are now none. So it's, it's gone through and indexed those tasks. So if we go and run this advanced search again, you can see we now have two results. So we can see from this that uh, we have item 103. We can see in the bottom left-hand corner when it, where it shows you the URL, and we have item 101. But 102 is nowhere to be seen. Um, now, what's what might have happened here is that the indexer has failed to index it for some reason, or maybe there's some database issues that have led to the indexing. I know before I started this video, I went into the database and removed all references to item 102 from the index. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to re-index that item. Now that's an EP admin command. So in the root directory, let's, uh, we have this bin directory. Let's make this I don't know how to make this text bigger. Uh, we have this bin directory, and in that we have this epadmin command. Oops. And it will show us the, 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 the operations we can do. We've got to do epadmin, then the command, and then the ID of the repository. So the one we want is to... Um, Re-index the repository, which is here. So we can go epadmin re-index, and it will come out and it tell us that actually this is the more detailed help. Where's re-index? If we scroll back up through here, rehash, reorder, re-index. We need the repository ID, we need the data set ID, and optionally a number of object IDs. But um, what we'll do is we'll just re-index the whole 
repository, every item in the repository. And the repository name is birdhouse, and we want to re-index the ePrint dataset. So that's going to go ahead, and if we switch back quickly to have a look at the status of the repository, we can see that on zero tasks, Oh well, we weren't able to see it come, but this would have flashed up to a, 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 about a thousand, sorry, about a hundred, three hundred tasks, but it's blown through those quite quickly. So now, if we go back to having re-indexed everything, if we go back and search, for our triangles again, we now have all three. And that's basic troubleshooting of search. To, to look into a little bit more detail, um, we might want to have a look in the database if you want to do some diagnosis. Um, so then we should have a look, uh, we should log into the database. Um, the password is stored in database.pl file. So with this information we can get into the database. The username, the database name, and then we will copy the password. Whoops, what did I do wrong? Ah. Minus you bird bounce. And if we have a look at what the tables are, the table we're interested in is the reverse index for an ePrint. So if we the ePrint underscore underscore R index table contains, oh, this is the test data where the abstract is just the word abstract. But if we, if we have a look at item number 103, we have the, the, the title, remember, and title is the only metadata field I set on this item. If I'd set an abstract with some more words in it, um, you'd see that. Let's do that now. Um, 103. So if I save that, that will be thrown onto the indexer. The index will process through that and then we should have come up in here. Ooh. Ah, two tasks. Now there's nothing on the list. Now it should be there. Yes! So there you can see this text we've added to the abstract has now been added to the reverse index. So when um, when ePrints is doing a search, what it does is it, it, it looks up the words. Notice we've got triangle instead of triangles. It does some some um, uh, so some shenanigans to to, to uh, normalize that kind of thing. Um, and that's kind of an overview of troubleshooting, searching, and where things live at.